Hey guys, Aaron Heiser with Makers Leather Supply. Uh, another quick two minute tool tip. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to set a copper or brass rivet. I don't use many rivets. I prefer to sew things in, but every once in a while it's kind of appropriate. Uh, bag straps and handles and things like that. Sometimes a rivet just makes life easier and also it can be a cool accent. Um, the most popular uh, ones that I've found are, are either brass or copper. Copper is by far more popular, but I really like the brass ones because I use a lot of brass hardware. Okay, so all that to say, um, these are very permanent rivets. Okay, um, once they're in, you're going to have to drill them out. Okay, or the leather will have to rot around it. But all I'm going to do is, uh, this is kind of a sample of how I do some of my, my uh, bag handles and stuff. I have an oblong punch that's an inch wide uh, right there in that piece of leather. I've got a one inch strip that's, I don't know, two to three inches long. I wrap it around my D-ring, put it in the, in the uh, oblong slot there. Okay, I'm gonna grab my hole punch of an appropriate size, just something that you can barely fit the post of that rivet down into, okay? Um, punch it right through the metal, or through the leather. And then I'm going to put my rivet in. I normally like to put my finished side of my rivet on the outside of whatever I'm doing. Um, some people like the hammered side instead, but uh, it's to each their own. Um, you put the washer over the rivet, and then you've got this little rivet setter here. Okay, It's got a hole on one side and a, uh, a little domed area on the other side. Um, this one's a Tandy one. This one's by C.S. Osborne right here. I like the Tandy one because it's, it's plenty big for just about all sizes of rivets. You can get these in lots of different diameters and lengths. So anyway, I put the hole over that post and knock it down so that that washer is nice and tight on there. Then I take me a pair of cutters, okay? If you're doing a copper one, they're so much easier to cut, but brass ones, um, I have to use these compound leverage cutters to cut them, and Janie has to cover her eyes because it's going to shoot across the room once I do. Um, so anyway, I cut it off, leaving about an eighth of an inch or so. Then I take my, uh, you can take the, the domed part of that rivet setter, put it over it, and peen it over a little bit to get it started. Um, sometimes I do that, but sometimes I just go straight into it with a ball-peen hammer. But anyway, I'm going to use this ball-peen hammer, and I'm going to go all around the rivet, just mushrooming it over the, uh, the washer. Then I'll turn it over a little bit more. And the last thing I always do is I run my finger across it and if it doesn't catch my fingerprint or anything like that then it's nice and smooth and it's not going to catch stuff inside of a bag or whatever. So again it's been a two-minute tool tip with Aaron Heiser at Makers Leather Supply. Have a great day.